and I brought this down. Not Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we're going back to basics, and that is the empties. So this will be for end of September and October empties, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, I cannot believe it is October. It is the end, we're only a few days away from Halloween. Kids are getting ready. They're so excited down here. I see so many beautiful costumes, so so original um, at Target and Walmart and every place else. We're just getting all hyped up for it. But in today's episode, we have to do what we have to do, and that is get through the empties. So here is my empties bin. As you guys know, that's my little wicker basket that I keep in my closet all the time. And we're going to go through. This is kind of at the way, way, way tail end of September and into all of October. So, you know, we're talking maybe two days away from the end of October. So this is it. This is what I've done. And I've tried not to reiterate the things that I usually have all of the time every month because, you know, you guys aren't going to care about, you know, the same shampoo bottle or the same cleanser or the same blah, blah, month after month after month. I'm trying to bring you guys some new things, things that I've tried or things that I, I, I like or I've talked about in other videos, but I want to, you know, delve into it and just show you guys how I go through it, how, uh, how I've used it, what I like about it, all of that. So without further ado, I don't want to talk too much in this video. Let's get to it. So first things first for the puppies, uh, dental life, they continue to love it. I, I think I did have one other maybe in September I can't remember that I put this in the empties this is a staple and I'm probably not gonna mention this again to you guys because this has really become a staple in the puppy family uh, for us to have and it's just their chewy porous texture helps clean hard to reach teeth uh, the puppies are loving it they love the texture of it they love the taste of it uh, their teeth are clean I always kind of pull up their little gums and kind of look around their teeth. They allow me to do that. I know I haven't lost a finger yet, um, and they're really good about that, and they just love this. They just gravitate to it. I, I put one on the couch. They go to the couch. They know to do couch time, and they just settle down on the couch, and they go through and chew this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. If you got canines in your house, I highly recommend that. Okay, over um, end of September and into October, I have still been juicing, and I love these. These are the at-home smoothies. They're by um, Jama. I think they're called Jama, yeah. And they're gluten-free. They are an excellent source of vitamin C. I'm looking at this in the back. They, you could do like a blendable or you could do a smoothie. So if you put more liquid into it, it'll come smoothie consistency. If you just uh, put very minimal liquids into it as you're uh, doing it in your blender, it's going to become like one of those uh, blendables, which I don't know if they're around your neighborhood, but in my neighborhood, they have these. One, one place is called Lovable. It's really cool. It's got uh, all kinds of blends of fruits and uh, some veggies and of course greens green stuff in it and it's kind of dense it's almost like an ice cream bowl it's more of the ice cream nature where you have to scoop it and use a spoon to eat it it's not the kind you can slurp through a straw but you can make either one with these love them they come in about three different varieties they come in the all greenies and they come in the this one is the Caribbean passion and I think they have something to do with mango they have another one like a mango blend love these keep them on hand I don't know if I'll continue to use it over the winter months because it is very cold so I'm not into the cold cold bitter cold slurpees and smoothies over the winter months but certainly you can keep doing it it doesn't hurt if you love smoothies continue to use it and these are so convenient you just pop them open you put the frozen you know fruit into the mixing bowl and i use a, a magic bullet for that and just whip them up like that you can put some soy milk or almond milk or rice milk you can even do fat free 
like I use some fat-free lactate milk which is great. So anything that you want to put in there as a liquid blend or even juice, you could do uh, apple juice or some other types of juices to get this blended in. Whatever you want to do, uh, you are the, you know, you are the judge of it. Really good. So that's that. All right. Continue to love the true food, grain free with chicken, carrots and ducks. My Yorkie Porky, which is a Pomeranian Yorkie mix, loves these. It comes in a bowl, you just pop the bowl open. You can put the entire bowl, it's like a little plastic bowl, down for them to eat. So you don't even have to empty this into their food dish. You can just use the convenient you know, plastic bowl that it comes with. Great for traveling too. If you guys um, have dogs and you're traveling in your uh, minivans or vans or cars or whatever, these don't need to be refrigerated. They can live in your pantry. They can live in anything. You just pop them open. The animals just love this. So on with that. Collagen, I keep using this. I think I mentioned it before. This is the U Theory one that I just happen to love this one. And it's in a local vitamin shop that I've been going to over the past, you know, six months or eight months. I love this brand. It comes with 120 tablets. It's only $9.99, so you can't beat the price on this. And I take this, you know, almost every day. I take about two or three pills of this, and it lasts. So it'll last, you know, a month, maybe a little longer. I love these. These are great. I, I threw it in here because I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to overindulge in your almonds or your nuts. You want to get your omegas in your body, and you want to eat healthy nuts that have the healthy fats in them, but you certainly don't have to eat 500 or 800 calories of healthy nuts. You can do it like this. These come in packages of, they're pre-packaged into this box, okay, and that's the emerald, and they're 100 calories per package. So as a snack time, this was on my desk all the time. I pull it out of my drawer if I'm getting a little nibbly or I'm just in the process of working and I just want something to nibble on. 100 calories, you go no further, you open up the package and you get your, you know, daily dose of your omegas without, you know, putting it on your hips because I don't want to do that. Let me see. Um, just some of this. This is the herbal tea sampler and it's been getting a little chilly at night, especially in October. I love to do a little tea at night to kind of wind down. I've talked about that before, so I won't go into it a lot. But this one, I love this package because it's it, it has five flavors. And um, it has chamomile, lemon zinger, peppermint, honey vanilla chamomile, which is amazing, amazing, the smell on that, and sleepy time, which, you know, everybody knows that's a blend of chamomile and other herbal uh, teas in it, and it just, you know, decompresses you and puts you to sleep, and it's just, it's wonderful. So that's that. I've gotten all that done, so that's empty, all, all gone, all gone. I'll be going to the uh, store to pick some more up, obviously. Right. Jinko Bilboa, I went through that, you know, this month, and uh, just keep these on hand. These are 60 milligrams, and it's great for healthy brain function, and God knows I need me some healthy brain function, seriously. Especially this past couple of months have been really, really taxing with my work and trying to get all these deadlines and being very organized at work, of course, and handling projects so you know you you have to be on top of your game and a way to be on top of your game is to take your uh jinko bipola so i've got that done got that out of the way rimmel lasting finish primer i really like this you know i went through it it's empty now i really like it i threw it into my basket because i am going to continue to buy this it's very inexpensive it's maybe like three or four dollars. I don't think it's more than that. It lasts quite a long time. It took me a couple of months to get through it. And I, and I have a number of different primers, so it's not like I use this every single time. But it's got some, you know, skin perfecting. It goes on very smooth. It lasts for eight hours. I don't know. You know, I can't attest to that because I use different makeups on top of it. So I don't know how the 
makeups that I'm using on top of it break this down um, to be less than eight hours and I usually don't wear makeup for eight hours but you know it, it's just a creamy good primer let me see if I have a little bit in here left so I can show you guys oh there it goes okay there it goes it's it's that kind of consistency and it's just very smooth the way it goes on and it blends in really nicely it's it's just got a very nice lubricating effect to it and it's all gone already do you see that and it just gives a nice hydrated feel you don't feel like over over moisturized you don't feel oily it seems to just go right into your skin it's already gone I can just feel it it takes no no more than a minute for it to really function and get into your skin and then you can start pull it, putting your foundation on top of it uh, I've used every type of foundation possible I've even used mineral foundation on top of this it it hasn't really deterred it or affected it so I'm really good I'm gonna get more of this I just ran out and I've got some other primers that I'm trying to work through so I'm gonna do those first and then I'm gonna get back to that but and I'll link um you know all of these below obviously so that you guys can go on any type of the mostly the Amazon because that's where I find all of these things uh, for you guys so if you don't have these in your area you can go on Amazon and easily you know click on that link and go order it I don't I I have an affiliate with them but honestly I haven't made a dime off of them people just click on there and if they want to buy it they buy it if they don't they don't you know it's no big deal I've talked about this before the hint waters I just put one in here into this basket because I just wanted to show you guys that I continue to drink it it continues to be one of my favorite hydrating waters it's just got these wonderful blends and there's about four or five blends I like the watermelon one I love this one which is the blackberry um, there's a couple of other ones I think the ones like a mango -y or peachy kind of thing um, I think there's one that's like a pomegranate I, I might be wrong because I drink so many of these types of waters that yeah I get them all mixed up but uh, this has zero calories in it uh, zero carbs zero fat it's um, it's just got purified water, blackberry, and other natural flavors. It's non-GMO plants in it. Love this. Over you know, and and don't think you don't have to hydrate in the winter time, dearies. You have to hydrate even in the winter time. Uh, if you go out, especially if it's really cold, your body is um, exuding a lot of vapors. They're you know to keep warm, obviously, and you're doing things outside, outdoors. You're actually exuding a lot of calories when you're you know shoveling snow or raking leaves or doing anything like that in the uh, fall to winter months getting in there. So you do need to hydrate. You need to stop what you're doing outside, especially if you're doing a lot of work, yard work or maintenance work outside. You need to stop stop what you're doing and you need to grab some sort of form of hydration it doesn't have to be this obviously but you have something so you know don't be unhealthy don't don't go out there and sweat it up and everything and uh, not take care of yourself so don't stop taking care of yourself okay so that's my little you know maternal maternal blitz blitz to you guys because I love to give advice it's free right all right this is uh one of the things that is probably going to end up in to my uh favorite videos uh for october it's not exactly empty but i wanted to put the uh, box in here so that you guys can go grab it if you want this is a uh, skin by ann webb it's called the coffee cherry our our jury our argireline i cannot pronounce that seriously a r g i R-E-L-I-N-E, Argoline Peptide Cream. Improves looks of wrinkles and fine lines. It's got shea, argoline, and cocoa. The, and it's paraben-free, vegan, and phthalate-free. And it's developed by an esthetician. Uh, the lady, Ann Webb, she's got a multitude of different beauty products. This is really the first one I tried, but I've heard a lot of good reviews and feedback on the other things that she has so I might go ahead and pick some up I got this at Sprouts and I believe Sprouts and Home Foods carries this brand or this line I just love the smell of this 
cream. It's just one of the most delicious smelling creams. It's light texture. It's just phenomenal. Uh, like I said, I will do a separate video on it because it is one of, um, it's getting to be into my favorites or, yeah, I have used it now for a while, so I did want to use it before I kind of reviewed it and gave it my blessing, but I will put a separate video and then I'll put the link of that video in here so you can go and look at that or I'll put it, you know, up, I'll probably put it, you know, it's easier to put it as a card up here, so I'll probably, maybe I'll do both. I'll do something. I'll do something for you guys. I will not leave you hanging. I will do something, okay? So anyway, so this is um, not totally empty, but I wanted to show you guys, okay? Because I had the box and I didn't want to throw the box away till I showed you guys. All right, bum, bum, bum. On and on. Um, I've done a mini review on these types of brushes. These are called... Um, they're more like, they're like the Artiste brushes, but they're dupes. They are low budget dupes and they come out of um, China or I think they're made in China. Um, they might be made in Korea or China or uh, something. I'm going to try to look at them. the box, but it's, it's not, it's not the full blown expensive Artiste brushes that cost you, you know, 40, $50 a pop. This is, and I brought this down, not that it's in my empties. I'm not throwing this away. I just brought this down to show you guys how this looks like. This is pretty darn big. And it's really fluffy. I used it today to put on my makeup. So, um, you know, if you want to kind of take a quick tour of it. Um, and I'm, I'm using the Milani... 2-in-1 concealer foundation and it's the lightest one which is I believe it's vanilla let's go with that it's the lightest one okay um and this was big enough that I just I, I dotted my face all over and then I went smear 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 down 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 smear smear you know all over into my hairline uh, into you know down to my earlobes and everything and uh, this did a great job it's um, it's pretty flexible I'm doing a mini review on it I, I know this is crazy but anyway it's it's pretty flexible don't bend it all the way because it is plastic and who knows it might snap I you know I'm not gonna butcher it or anything it's very soft this is the largest one that I found and I got this at a beauty supply store these are Beauty supply stores are popping up. They are run by um, some sort of, uh, usually an Asian family. I don't know if they're Korean or Vietnamese or whatever, but um, most of them are, that are popping up are by uh, these type of families, and they they are what I call the community beauty store. They cater to... Um, the city folks, they cater to, you know, they have, for example, tons of wigs. They have a lot of hair boobobs, you know, that you can have. They have um, really pretty uh, baseball caps. They have some clothing, but their main focus is beauty. And they have what I call the not the top brand beauty products. So they have like a, a J cat and they have LA colors and they have, um, I, Oh, uh, maybe Jesse, Jesse's girl. They'll have some of these, not the highest brands, you know, they don't have the L'Oreal and the Maybelline and all of that. These are usually coming out of, again, Asian countries, uh, some of these beauty products. And, you know, try it at your own risk. They have matte lipsticks that are like, um, I mean, matte, I wanted to say matte lipsticks that are like MAC. They have a lot of um, glossy things. They have great eyeliner. So, I ramble on, you know, don't want to waste your time, but if you go into one of these beauty stores, just know you can grab really different kind of cool products and try it out, and it's not that expensive. This one was $5.99. This is the jumbo size, as you can tell, that's the jumbo size, and they do have, you know, like a medium and a, and a smaller size for contouring or maybe getting under your eye 
or for eyeshadow easier. Um, so just look around, and they're usually between. I'd say the smaller the smaller brushes are about three ninety nine or two ninety nine, and this top top notch oval brush blending, and this is for blending and contouring. Although, like I said, I used it to apply my entire foundation, and this one is five ninety nine. I'm looking at the box offline, but that's the way it looks like. It comes like you know in the box like that. And again, it was in my empties. Not that. Um, you know, I just wanted to show you guys the box, but I will continue to use this, and obviously this is not going to run out on me unless it breaks, but I, I've tried it a few times now, and I really like it, so I wanted to pass that on to you guys, because I pass on everything to you guys. I am a passer on earth. Um, I began to use this literally um, two days ago, and I am in love. I'm obsessed with this and I, I, I'm going to do some research and I'm actually going to do an actual full-blown review on this product, but I put the empty, I put it in my empties and I'm going to show you the actual product now. Konja, Konjac Cleansing Sponge. And they come in a number of varieties. Again, I got these at the, I got this one at the beauty supply store that I got the other of the brush in, but, um, and this was... I don't think it was more than $2.99, honestly, guys. This was very cheap. They come in different varieties. This one is Clay Hydrating Skin, and I'll show it to you in a second. There's another one that's like a, um, a tar, uh, not a tar, but mud, mud one, and that is more for, um, I guess, cleansing out the pores, get detoxing. This is Clay for hydrating. It softens when wet. Okay, so this is 100% natural. This is how it looks like. And you have to hang it up to dry it. And I'm gonna squeeze on it right now. This is, this is very moist right now because I used it this morning to cleanse my face. It's kind of flat on one side and it's dome-like on the other side. And I guess they, I guess they, they cut it like that. As you can see, it's kind of cut like that. It's supposed to be a, a, a natural sponge of some sort coming out of the sea. And I'll read about this. It exfoliates and it hydrates your skin. And I, and it's hard as a rock when you buy it. You buy it and you're thinking this, this is like a rock, right? What the heck? It's, it, it feels like a, pumice stone. It doesn't feel soft till you moisten it. It's almost like when you moisten a beauty blender, you know, how it's kind of small and dry and then you moisten it and it poofs up. This does the same thing. It actually kind of poofs up. Okay. Um, so what you do is you, you moisten this and then you put your cleanser on it. And I used a couple of drops of my Dr. Bonner Bronner almond uh, soap, you know, just a couple of drops of that the other day. And then I tried it this morning with the um, uh, rose water olive oil soap that I got at the Greek festival, you know, a few weeks ago that I've got the link on the Greek festival below. So you can go see that too. Um, so I've tried it with some different things. I don't think I would put anything that has scrubbies in it just because it's so porous and I, I just, you know, I don't feel that you need any more scrubbing, you know, a scrubbing on top of this exfoliating sponge. You don't need more than that. You just need a cleansing, some sort of cleanser in here so that you can do your exfoliation. So that's, that's my theory. I mean, you can try it if you want. I don't think it'll hurt anything, but if you do have sensitive skin, just know you're already exfoliating with this, so you don't need to double exfoliate. Um, so yeah, anyway, you wet it, you put the, your little cleanser on there, and then you just uh, go through your face, and just, I, I kind of hold on to it like a half of a lemon, basically, you know, and uh, just scrub down, and you can use little tips to get into your nose area, and into your, you know, under your eye, not all the way up, but you know, whatever, and it, you know, it's big enough that you can go down your neck and everything, um, and then you just rinse it out by squeezing it under warm running water till it you know, it, it runs clear. And then you just hang it up in your shower or wherever on a handle. I'm fascinated by this, number one. And I'm in love with this, number two. It's soft. This is the weird part. You know, like when you do your scrubbing, um, when I do my uh, sugar scrub, 
that I've done, you know, my do-it-yourself one. When I do other scrubs that come out of a tube, every, anything granular, it, you feel it on your skin. You feel that scratchiness, you know, hard to explain that, but scratchiness on your skin. Not that it's bad, it is good for you. You get that really good dermabrasion going and then you rinse off. And that has its place. But remember, those things you can only use once, twice a week, depending on your skin sensitivity. You don't want to go ahead and keep using that uh, daily or twice a day even. This you can use daily or even twice a day. It is so soft. It's like literally putting a sponge on your face and doing your face. It gives just the right amount of exfoliation but it, and it leaves your skin so baby soft and beautiful, just just glowing. But it doesn't um, it doesn't overwork your skin. I'm trying to find the right words for you guys. You you really have to try this to to appreciate what it does. I think it is an um, an Asian concept, maybe Korean concept, and I think um, being maybe close to the sea, ladies by the sea discovered this as a uh, secret beauty secret and they I guess in the old days obviously they didn't you know make it pretty and round but they probably cut up a sponge uh, you know whatever how big they wanted got it out of the sea and then you know started using this and found that they really really liked it so um, if you do try it, this one is called Kiss New York makes it. Again, these are one of these, you know, B or C line beauty products. I don't think they're available. I mean, you can try your local drugstore to see if they're available. But if you can find one of these off-brand uh, beauty stores, beauty supply stores, or maybe go online, I'm going to... I haven't done this yet for you guys, but I will look again on Amazon to see what they have, and I'll put the links below so you guys can, um, you know, grab it. Um, so this is the clay one. I'm going to go back and actually get the, maybe the charcoal one or the other one, uh, just to have on hand to see what the difference is. And um, yeah, it, it, this is just, it's just great. It's just, it, it, like literally in 48 hours, I have fallen in love with this. So, big time, big time, gorgeous. Okay, that's it, I'm empty, ta-da, except for the little sponge in there. I am totally empty. So, I will wrap this up. Um, I love you guys, thank you for tuning in, thank you for sticking out this video with me. Uh, I try to bring you great products all the time. I'm always on the hunt for them. You know that. Um, great products, products that are usable, that do their job. I give my honest opinions. I am not sponsored by anyone. Um, and if I was sponsored by anyone, I would tell you if I was sponsored by anyone. And I would still give you my honest opinion because you guys are the most important things to me, not a sponsorship. Okay. Sponsorships come and go. But, you know, getting you guys to believe in the stuff that I believe in is my mission. That's my mission to be on YouTube and to get that out there for you guys, okay? So keep well. It is October. It's going into be November now. And we're going to, you know, it's fall and the leaves are falling. It's beautiful out there. I love you all. I give you all my blessings. Stay tuned for my next video. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up. Please let's build this community, okay? Until next time, bye.